Hey everyone, I just finished doing a uh, Centroid Acorn upgrade on this shop out here and I thought I'd take you through some of the uh, features on it. Uh, so this is a four foot by eight foot shop bot. Um, it's been pretty heavily modified uh, from its original uh, incarnation. It's got um, a new Gary Campbell built uh, control box here, some big stepper drivers, um, gear reduction, belt gear reduction uh, boxes with some lead shine stepper motors. Uh, it's got inductive proximity switches on both ends of the X gantry, on the Y, uh, the top of the Z, and there also is an inductive tool measure switch here, which we'll get to in a second. Um, we've got a movable touch plate here if you need to measure in an odd place. And this one has a main spindle and an air drill. So um, there's a main uh, cutting spindle here, a four horsepower um, HSD spindle. Um, and this arrow air drill, which drops down um, when needed. And so there's uh, one solenoid for drop, no, another solenoid for spinning, uh, like that. Uh, so, take you through, uh, kind of show you how this all works here. So first of all, putting in the centroid um, really makes this machine much snappier and, uh, and faster. So I've got this MPG jog wheel here. We're gonna do a 1200 um, inches per minute uh, jog here on X. And you can see the machine just moves really, really fast. Um, there's almost no delay. And physical software stops uh, work great. So you can kind of run at full speed right at an end stop and the machine ramps down automatically. You're not losing uh, position at all. So a couple of things that I'd set up that weren't um, totally normal with Centroid. Um, I had to get the solenoids for the um, air drill working and also I needed to get uh, the offset working. So when I'm using, when I'm doing a job that, uh, when I send a job to it that does uh, drilling, I want to be able to cut with the spindle and then have a temporary offset done so the machine can slide over an X, uh, drop the drill, drill all the holes that I need, um, and then retract the drill and continue on with the job. And so that required um, doing some, doing a bit of a custom post processor for uh, VCarve and Fusion 360. Um, and it also required doing some stuff in the Centroid software. So what I did is I essentially recorded the offset between the spindle and the air drill um, as permanent values in Centroid. And essentially my spindle is tool number one and my drill is tool number two. And I have the tool set up um, in the offset library. So if we go to the offset library, if you can see down here, um, I'm doing a negative offset for tool one um, and a negative offset for tool two. And since I change tools all the time, I wanted to make that really fast to go over um, and change tools. So this is where that uh, fixed touch off plate that I showed you earlier comes into place. So if I press number one on my MPG wheel, so imagine I've just changed uh, the tool out in the spindle, press number one, and the machine will run over and it drives down and it taps that uh, touch off plate. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this here. Um, and then if I change the drill, I just press number two on the MPG wheel. The machine drives over, drops the drill, and will measure the distance uh, for the drill. So this makes tool changes really fast. I'll just bring this thing back over to home here. Um, and so what is great about this is that it makes tool changes super fast and it also makes it so that I can actually shut the machine off, um, come back in, and as long as I haven't changed the tools, I can just rehome to zero and since I'm using the tool offset library, um, I don't need to retouch off my tools, um, which is really handy. So um, that's basically how the setup works. So far this thing has performed really, really well. Uh, I ran a job yesterday that normally takes about 28 minutes. I was able to do it in about uh, 12 minutes um, with same feeds and speeds because uh, this thing really just moves really fast. The rapids are, you know, again, really snappy and it just doesn't wait. If I press home here, the machine just flies home. Um, no delay, no spinning up the software, anything like that. So, so far, I'm really, really happy with this upgrade. And if anyone has any questions, please let me know.